Today's story is The Three Little Pigs. I'm sure you would have heard this one before. Let's see what happens. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived with their mother in a snug little house until the little pigs grew too big. You see them all squashed on the sofa. It's time you found homes of your own, said their mother. So, off they trotted on their short pink legs. Trottity trot, trottity trot, trottity trot. Watch out for the big bad wolf, cried Mother Pig. Soon, they met a man selling straw. Ooh, squealed the first little pig. May I buy some? I'm going to build a house of straw, he announced. He set to work right away. His house had four straw walls, a neat straw floor and a fine straw roof. And a very stylish straw door. Isn't it grand, said the first little pig. The others weren't too sure. They muttered and tutted and then trotted away. Soon, they met a man selling sticks. Ooh, squealed the second little pig. May I buy some? I'm going to build a house of sticks, he said proudly. Isn't my house grand? Sticks are better than straw. The third little pig wasn't sure. She trotted on until she found some bricks. Oh, please, may I buy some? She asked. I'm going to build a house of bricks. Brick houses are the best of all. Which house do you think is going to be best? I think it might be the brick house. The next day, the big bad wolf came to the straw house. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he called. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, said the first little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the straw house in. My goodness, look. The little pig ran as fast as he could to the stick house. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, cried the wolf. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, cried the two little pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he huffed and he puffed until at last, he blew the house in. <sighs> Look, the stick house is gone. The little pigs ran as fast as they could to the brick house. The wolf was just behind them. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. No, yelled the three little pigs. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, cried the wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, and he puffed until he ran out of puff. <laughs> Laughed the three little pigs. You can't get in. But the wolf jumped onto the roof. He slid down the chimney and landed splash in the cooking pot. The third little pig picked up the lid and all three of them slammed it on. By the hair and our chinny chin chins, they said, we won't be seeing that wolf again. 
So they were all safe in the end in the brick house and the wolf was cooking in their pot. I hope you enjoyed the story.